Welcome back, welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, we're in the knockout stages of Streamer League. Uh, we lost last week to Mythic Matt, so we're in the loser bracket, and we're playing today against Titan Smash MTG, another uh, YouTuber. Uh, so do check him out if you haven't already. Plays a lot of brews as well, fun guy. Um, so we, I'll have him on audio over Discord, so we'll kind of chat in between our matches. Uh, we both committed to playing brews today. Um, first up will be me on Cat Tribal versus him on Dog Tribal. So Cats versus Dogs, round one. Uh, then I have Is It Yadaro kind of tempo cycling uh, deck. And then my Saltai Ultimatum deck, which I really liked in standard. Um, so I'm going to check in, see if Titans is good to go. We'll get the Cats deck up on screen. So it's kind of here a commander or a companion and then kind of a cat synergy with Felidar Retreat to create some more cat beasts. Let me see if Titan's good. It'll be nice neither of us have to play against Doom Foretold today. Yeah, right? At least we can guarantee that that's not in the picture. Oh, just like in Constructed, you get to go second. I know. Nothing I'm not used to. <laughs> So you're going to see turn one constructed all-star coming down. I think I'm just going to lose real bad here. <laughs> so this hand's actually pretty good. Um, this is basically the best card in the matchup with protection. We can go garrison cat scry on two. Mold of five, casual mold of five to start off with. It's like two creatures in one. It really is. Value city. The one drops are awful in this deck. I'm glad to hear that. Can you not play? I was gonna say, can you not play that card in particular? The card with protection from your deck? Hey John, how's it going? Uh, only half of it. Thank you. So he's got the Kerr and the Watchdog. So notably, this one doesn't have protection. This is highly unfortunate. Hmm. So we attack in like this. I want to play Felidar Retreat the following turn. So I think what we do this turn... Man, Felon Sovereign is just like the hardest counter to my deck ever. I'm not a fan. Well, even just that Companion in there makes it uh, pretty good. Just another Lord. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for stopping by, John. So we got to be mindful of Ember Cleave potentially. Makes cat beasts. That's actually pretty spicy. Oh my god, and the Felidar or the, the Fable Pass is back it up. Oh, I messed that up. I could have given Vigilance. We're 
we're pretty dead here. Four two, it's not good. You just need to cleave off the top. Yeah, that wasn't happening. <laughs> How about more one drops? All right. Okay, we're not going to mold a five. This time. So in this matchup, um, probably want the Gargaroths. Can probably get rid of Heraldic Banner and Basri's kind of whatever. I don't think we want to get that much bigger with like Conquer's Death. I think our removal is pretty good here. The Luris is fine. I don't like. He'll probably bring in like Scorching Dragon Fires, or some sort of targeted removal. Um, so I think we're just gonna go for like the longer, grindier game. Uh, he needs to answer this, so he might have. I, I don't think we want Wilt. Maybe instead of like a Luris, because if we go into stall, then I want this. Also, if we go into a stall, this might help. So maybe we lower our curve just a little. Go down a Luris. Play it like that. All right, keep seven this time. Yeah, I'm gonna try to. Five is not a shit we don't like, as the kids say. Ugh. Nope. Sounds like borderline unplayable. I think we got them all. Does that sound much better? Put back Temple. Garrison Cat on one, Casket on two if needed, and then you have Bronze Hide Line. We want to get rid of Pack Leader. Zivimix, how's it going? We are up a game, cats versus dogs. Thank you, thank you. Well, that's the best draw on our deck. Can you stop doing that on turn one, please? Premium one drops. Thank you for the tier, Silver Oak. Much appreciated, friendo. Yeah, no more of that, please. I'd appreciate it. So if he goes pack leader here, I don't care about that one. Um, so the question is, like realistically, I want this out next turn, but I'm probably gonna do that. So let's go. Is a 3-3 just like the biggest thing in this matchup? Yeah, probably it's huge, except for I have a 3-3 three, three of my own. You ready to see it? Just kidding. Just... If you really want to protect your cat, you may. <laughs> Uh, do we want another land? Another land next turn lets us go like multiple spells here. I think we probably want to hit our land. So I can go protection, but he can ember cleave us. So I think we just do this. He can kill this. That's fine. Okay, so pack leader is what we're concerned with. The leader is here. Um, probably. I'm just taking it. My cat's no scared. 
It should be. Appreciate if you didn't play Glass Casket, actually. Well, you we have Good Boy protecting all your creatures. How many one drops do you play? Eight. Way too many. It's uh, four Garrison Cat, four Charm Stray. Cauldron Familiar was banned otherwise. Rolled and Dia said that your cats turned into scaredy cats. So <laughs> Do you have a removal? You ever say something about not playing that card? out of the century free value oh, that's not even a cat I thought I made another cat that's not cool. You know it's also a cat? Stop. Stop with that. So here we need like Vivian. Give me one second, I'm trying to do. Gargaroth. Like, your lures are so annoying. I wish I had a way to get through it. It's particularly good with Garrison Cat, just leaving two bodies each to go around. Yeah. Cub Warden would be Master blocker. decent. So I think we're just doing this this turn. If he has it, he has it, but this leaves us another body. He can pump. Actually, he's short a mana. If he has cleave, he has cleave, and he probably beats us anyways. We going to uh, an o a city in Ohio? We are going to cleave land. Does he have it? That was a good draw. I wanted, I was a mana short of putting it on bronze side. So we'll offer the trade here. If in the very least it gains us three life, because this prevents damage that would be dealt to dogs during your turn. So here we put this in front here, and then we block on some dogs. Selfless Savior can protect Skyclave here. So they have six coming in. Actually screwed up pretty big here. So that's six. So a we'll block here. Actually. Whenever it attacks, yeah. 
so then it's fine. So he has to pop his selfless savior here. He doesn't. Let's it go down. Ah. Drawing it all. Oh, I had it. I'm an idiot because I thought I had uh, Castle Limbeth ready to go there. And, you know, math is hard. Eight coming in. I can't attack. We Is it... not top deck uh, Cub Warden, please? Nope. Hmm. So we're going to want these Wilts in. I think Bassery is probably not going to do enough here. And maybe Trim a Vivian. Gear is probably still fine. We could go like Questing Beast. Actually, we should have gone Questing Beast because then damage doesn't get prevented. I feel like this matchup's just going to be whoever has Casket wins. So I kind of want to get game one just because we get the one. Hey, Jaffer, how's it going? The yeah, casket's pretty huge in this matchup. Jaffer wanted me to let you know that you suck. Who said that? Jaffer. Tell Jaffer that despite the hurtful words, I still love him. So we'll probably passage here since we don't have much to do. Real, real, real big man to make a man cry on stream. Ah, we can just do this. We got. We need to save this for pack leader. It's a little awkward. We're probably just putting Kihira to hand. Not really curving out the way we want to. Discard. What's this Kenrith? Not even close to that. So we'll probably Cub Warden on top of the Charm Stray next turn. Gives us a nice body to start attacking in. Ooh, we can Bronzeide Lion. I think we go Cub Warden, though. Hey, Pedro, how's it going? Um, we are playing Streamer League. This is Cat Tribal. We're playing against fellow streamer Titan Smash, who is on Dog Tribal. Uh, they're kind of brews that we're playing right now. Let's see you cast get this cub warden. Yeah, I can't do that. So you can have cage, which is a bit problematic. This turn's probably going to be Kahira and Bronze Hide. I get one trigger with the Winota. So we probably take this because then next turn my stuff just gets bigger. I still want to hold for pack leader. Hey Kyle, how's it going? Notably, these get Vigilance as well. You know, 4-6 Vigilance lifelink's a little annoying. 
Yeah, it's going to be hard for you to attack in here. Might have wanted to casket there because they can technically double block. We take Winota off the battlefield. I still think Winota's the... Me out. I'm Selesnia. There's no instant speed here. It's true. Our blockers are decent here. And then I can Luris get back my Charm Stray next turn. Embercleave is a real threat. So we probably... Double up. Three three body too strong. Kind of want to keep the Luris till next turn. That's a great draw. So I can do this. Get rid of this. That leaves me a three three behind. Honestly, a little rude. Get our token, and then we'll just pass the turn. Hmm. Maybe we go Luris this turn. It's another body, because we are Feline Sovereign next turn. Really needed that temple to be untapped. So he can pump up his Kerr here. He only has two red mana. Kind of annoying, not gonna lie. This just opens us up to being able to play out a couple things. We do want to try to find like Gargaroth or something soon. We can do a pump here. With the feline coming down next turn, I kind of want to... Why are you scared? Just not played Gruul in so long that I've lost my, my bravery. Garrison Cat's not where we want to be. So we can give this bronze hide stop, protection. Stop this. To be fair, I double scryed. I don't care. Still unacceptable. It's actually funny because Titans fan or Titans Smash loves cats. I love dogs. We just swapped it for this go around. Uh, yeah, the invitation was really fun. Making day two at Gruul. Um, I did post a couple of just revisions to the mana base uh, just to kind of improve it along that avenue. Um, I think that does help. Okay, Glass Casket is something we we're probably going to want to hang on to. Hey, Mikivo. Uh, the Gruul list uh, should be updated on Aetherhub. Okay, so we do have the potential for Blowout here. It's pretty free value, just with us not having anything else in the yard. We can take the block, we just recast it. And then I make a token each turn. Never saw that coming. Combo.
Yeah, at this point, like we're just kind of in a top deck war. If he draws Cleave, there's his Winota. We do have protection. So we'll see what he hits here. Second Winota. He could have an answer for the Sovereign, which leaves us pretty dead. So we do need to block on these. Um, I think we're just making a token here. Protection. Go for it. Like there's no good way to do this. Yeah. Well, you hit the Hakdos, which is pressure. So we block there. Marina decided to take a nap. Actually, let's block here while you're pro multicolor. Let's block here, block here. You can double pump here, so I'd rather not. Put a block here. Put a block here. Kind of don't want to block with Luris. Let's just block like that. See how it goes. If he has cleave, then we're just dead. But I can't play around that. He's got this curve that he could pump as well. Maybe I should have thrown a blocker in front there. Yeah, I probably should have done this here. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't quite make two tokens. I think we still attack here. Pass the turn. I want to save this for pack leader. I do have a question, Joe. What? Um, if you were to have a casket, what kind of casket would you like? Uh, don't touch my felines. Don't hey, Pager. What? You definitely want to get rid of Charm Stray. It does keep coming back. You're not wrong. Uh, hey, Pedro. Uh, yeah, I can tr test out some Doom. Um, we'll see how that goes once uh, we get back from... I'll play some games of, like, uh, newer decks. Did he just hit the Kenrith? There's too many humans in your dog deck. Every dog has a good companion for him with it, you know? GG's, buddy. Hacks. <laughs> All right, so we lost that one, so we're going to have to fight. said, I guess every dog has his day. Wah, wah, wah. All so, right, well, I'll stick on this deck. You switch to whatever you want. Yeah, just give me a sec. So we are on Sultai Ultimatum. This is a deck I played a lot of. Basically just looking to wipe the board a number of ways. I think against this matchup, we want to have more removal than the tempo deck. P 
Plus, I don't think he knows what's up with this one. Having an extinction event will be good. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to get Cat's one, just because then you have the, the switch in. Uh, where'd it go? But um, this is probably... Because the thing is, I was hoping to get the first one, so then I can play around his tempo deck, because this deck's not as good with counters. Hey, look at that, on the play. Um, in this matchup, we're a ways away. Can Gala play this? Forget about giving me on the play because this game hates me. Probably keep this, just try to do an event. Seven card keep, let's go. Figure we have blood. I'm the four and pray. So what we probably want, again, target pack leader, if possible. That last game, we could have been a little bit more. I think the, the line that lost us was we should have glass cascaded to be able to attack. You're going to lose to Molten Four. How do you feel? Well, the average CMC in my hand is quite high. This on two, this on three. This card makes Moles of Four a lot more, more better. It's basically two mana, two two, draw two. Yeah. Totally normal stats. Could be not. I'm playing Tap Line Tribal. Well, I need you to be as slow as you can, please. I think we just want to keep our life total high. This is not going to be a game. It was fun hitting lands while we could, though. Oh, look at that. No threats. This hand had a lot of potential for a mobile four. I'll give it to that. So I don't know if you've uh, seen this deck, but it's pretty much a bunch of one ofs. Mine is two actually. I play one mountain, one plane, and one one temple. So this turn we set up for the thing next turn. So we'll do this. Can you stop playing actual real constructed <laughs> cards? I brought my EDH deck. So we do need to be mindful of the bull tent. Oh, we are getting mask. didn't just draw Kenner. Don't worry about that. We are gonna get masker worm. Perfect when you have two mana. So here we get masker worm. Shadows Verdict and probably Shark Typhoon. I'll let you even pick which one you don't want. So we're in a pretty good spot here. Either way, he's getting his board wiped, and we're being left. I mean, I'm dead either way. I kind of just want to see the rest of your deck here, if I'm being honest. Actually, there's no need to do this. Let's just go. <laughs> well, you're taking 10 this turn. Yeah, I would say good game as a good sport, but um, maybe we'll get to actually play a real game this time. So we'll just bring in the removal here. Um... Solemn's probably fine. 
We can probably trim a Sea God and Ugin in this matchup. Maybe one Shark Typhoon on the play. Uh, probably just get rid of the Maze Mines Tomes as well. Just like overload him with removal. Actually, Ashiok or... So we can go Ashiok, we can go... I want Wilt. I can play Ashiok, I can get rid of that, and then maybe on the play we play Ugin. If it makes you feel better, I can't search up Ugin off Ultimatum. It does make me feel a little better. Sounds pretty good. We're keeping seven, what a time to be alive. OP. Nineteen turn clock. So we're probably Blood Chiefs thirsting this. Hmm. So mana wise, it's more efficient. But the next turn we're doing that again. So. We need a sweeper here. Nice thing is I have an answer to Winota. You got two Blood Chief Thirst over there? Is that what this is? So I'm holding up Fatal Push. Ah, of course. What do you want to protect in that hand? So we have black black. We'll play this on blue, I think. We can have murderous rider for the alpine. Actually, that gives us a bit more option. We'll see what he plays out here. Do this on his turn. Notably, this can't trigger Winota. We take two here. Want to see what he played out there. So he could have Ember Cleave, which makes this line worse. I think we're going to just try to inventory this turn. Double inventory, find a sweeper, unless he cleaves. I don't want you to have creatures. I don't. I, I can see that. I appreciate it. You can stop. So here, let's go another blue. We could spend this turn equipping cleave. We could play out the murderous rider. We needed to find some action there. Drawing two of these is a bit annoying, and like just not hitting any of our sweepers. Like we have four events. We have two nightmares, which ones if they equip doesn't work. Eliminates decent. Like we got answers, we just gotta hit them. Bassery. Probably just insulating my life total here. We 
we are two lands short. Okay, so eliminate's not bad. Okay, so we got a vent for next turn. Kind of want. a land, just so I can ultimatum here. We can search Gargaroth off it. So we can equip Cleave. So he probably does it to Iron Kirk. So we'll wait to see if he pumps kill it and then um, extinction event that lets us extinction event so we're taking a bunch here but it's not lethal Just gotta stay alive. I knew I couldn't play around that. I had to keep putting stuff out there and just hope. So we want to find a land here. That's a green source that comes into play untapped. Or a removal spell. Or dead on board otherwise. You know what? I'm not going to be greedy. Doesn't feel great, but it's a guaranteed kill. Hey, it works. Green source, Typhoon, probably okay with this. Can you stop putting cards on top? That's all I know how to do. So if he has land, this goes to th it's four, this soaks up four. I think I just asked you previously to not huh. uh, top and you just keep doing it over and over. But all the good ones are on top. So we're going to block here to see if we can get him to pump. You're annoying, you know that? <laughs> You're just annoying. <laughs> Ah, it's a pretty good top deck. Not when you don't have any more creatures. Ugh. Because you kill them all. So we're short a green here. That doesn't actually help. We need a green source. And there's our green source. Okay, so we just need to survive this turn. We'll double block here, just try to keep our life total high. So 
we can hit for 10 here. 12. Eight. How does it feel to just top deck like a god? I was just complaining about your top deck skills actually with all your tops and strides, but yeah, that was a good one. Yikes. So, I think we're just bringing it back here. Like, our mana was a little awkward that game, just not hitting the third green. So it ended up being just that one turn where we decided to take the two first with, before Murderous Ridering. Had we done that, we would have been in the clear. Perfect amount of mana too. Yeah, that was that was just right. We could set it up. Gargaroth will be a big roadblock for him. Scry into hopefully like cultivate or something. Solemn would be decent. Maybe a board wipe. You're close to stabilizing there. Yeah, we don't need another 7 drop. No play there is good. The fact that stupid pack leader gets him uh, 3 creatures. Second Heartless Axe also nice. actually pretty good too. Let's us draw two the following turn. So because they can put counters on things, like this progressively gets worse later in the game. I might be taking the two, oh no, Bolt Town needs to die. No speed demon. Just wanted one speed demon, no. So we're gonna Gargi next turn. Probably kill the so it's actually interesting because if he has Winota, then I want to hold up this heart. Land ever. <laughs> it's something. It's a thing. Two mana draw two is pretty good. I've been, like, very impressed with Frantic Inventory. Hello. Swing. No. So this would go to four. Cleaver put it to five. It's so close to, it's not fair. Again, this is better. I think we're just drawing a card here to try to find a sweeper. If he has the cleave, he has the cleave, but it trades off here.
And then he doesn't get all that ac extra damage. So Shadow's Verdict, we're probably waiting a turn. Two mana, draw three. Yeah, that's pretty good. Notably, this gets us our missing green. And then we can ultimate him next turn. Can equipped, they can awkwardly bounce off each other. That's GG there, I think. So, worm. Verdict. Do I have another Seagate? Let's see if he gives it to us. Which way you want your board wiped? This will make you mill now. That's how you lose. What do I do with all these cards in my hand? Look, you're halfway there to Milltown, so I'm pretty happy. Eight. So we have eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Hactos is protection from two. So we're going to have to name even here. Let's get our card draw. Um, so we can get, we can hard cast Typhoon, like we need to be mindful of Kenrith. I can, so I think we do want to play with around the Kenrith. Oh, we're short. Besides one. you having more mana and more cards and more meaningful cards in your hand, probably. This feels great. It's, it's just so hard to decide what to do. We could have cultivated. Probably let him attack here. Free value here. So we'll do this. I think I've seen enough. Good game. Alrighty, 1-1. One, one. Just give me a sec. I'm going to reset my client. It's giving me a little bit of an audio kickback. Just, uh, just shoot me an invite when you're ready. let the client reset we'll get going for another game while this resets just gonna leave my phone my wife's gonna order some food with my phone give me one sec
Alrighty, let's go. Sent over challenge. So the tempo deck might be challenge a bit accept. of an issue. We want to try to get this one. Two in a row on the play. But it's not a matter because I've had to mulligan like literally every game we played but one. I could kill something early. This can help scry. Five lines is probably a bit heavy, but I think we keep it. I think we need to prioritize a board wipe here. Roberto. Could you not? Yeah, I ain't gonna use it against you, but at least you can't use it against me, so there's that. Not that one in particular. Okay, so we're probably just gonna try to stay alive here. So we're gonna use this removal. I'm actually gonna do this just because he's probably on a mutate plan. So this can't be mutated onto. Hoping that screwed up a mutate. Maybe. We're gonna do this next turn, Masker Worm the turn after. I'd actually just top deck this, so to be fair I didn't have it, but yeah, good call. Well I figure, just the extra power coming down. Just keep the life total up. If he had cleave, he would have double attacked. That's actually pretty good, because if he plays out more, we can bounce the gem raiser and the next silo card from his hand. How are you going to let me cast a six drop? Bye. You did it. I just feel so bad. Play would have been if you had one more mana that turn it would have been decent. I've been looking for this green source for a while. Well, you got me digging. That's good at least. Just find some lands. Lands are cool. No cleave. No cleave. So. I want to cleave pretty badly, but no says something. 
Probably make another one here. We could gain some life here and like next as early as next turn. Second QB. Yes, please. Two, four. Can you stop drawing shark typhoons, my friend? It's like my one of my few answers, main board to questing beast. I hate it. So we're probably gonna gain some life next turn. Oh, that's actually really good because now I can bounce it to get that out of his hand. dead now. I just drew triple ultimatum. Yeah. That ain't bad. Far off for Ember Cleaves. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this matchup, we want. If it says kill something, we want it. Um, Ashiox probably not the best here. Let's go down the Kiora as well. Masker Worm's fine here. It trades off two cuts. Probably the Cultivate in this matchup. I, I'm not crazy about the Elspeth's Nightmare. We can trim down to one. Run it like that. He gets to be on the play again, but he had quite a few one drops that game and we were able to kind of get out from under him. The important thing is if we do go to game three, I'm on the play. Give me one sec while he loads it up. This hand is pretty... I hope when you get to go back and watch this, you can just get a good laugh of how laughably awful my man has been like every game we played here. <sighs> well, mine's not much better. This go around, I'm kind of banking on being on the play. We're keeping this hand just because we have a removal on two into Extinction Event into Shadow's Verdict. Hoping it gets us there. We're really relying on the scry here. Yes. Looking for land on top, seven drop, how about now? Not quite there. Okay, untap land we really want. Okay. On helping you find it. Tap land central. Okay, so we're gonna have to kill this. something yeah so we might have to do a premature extinction event here just kill this now you did take extinction event off the top yeah i was happy about that untap lined 
really need to do that land there, so I played the Rada. Not cool. Does it feel nice to have it all? Almost clicked on. I think Clothis was the line there. Land dropped really bad, though. So we need to play into ultimatum here. We're going to use... He's putting pressure on us, so we need to get the shark going. I may hard cast shark. Yeah, this is a hard shark, hard cast shark game. Imagine having mana in these, these games. And now you're just being greedy. I, I'm on a clock. <laughs> So, could be questing beasts. We're in a bad spot if so. Yeah, we're in a, we're in a real bad spot here. So, I have Heartless Act. Doesn't really help here. Clothis is going to be a problem. We need to keep Ugin in. So wait till he goes to combat. Don't think we have a way to gain life. I don't have a way to get this off the table. You got me. GG. Okay, so we do want this in, and I do think we want... Do we want Ugin? Probably. He has Gem Razor, so the hard cast Typhoon there was probably a bit greedy. Probably just trim down a Tome. I think we do want the sharks. Trim down Wilt. If he has cleave, he's gonna have cleave anyways. We're not really gonna hold up instant speed for it. It's a one of in the 60. Being on the play here will be good. Try not to stumble mana wise. If we were able to like on two, that was with him also clearing the top of our deck. So we'll want to go. I'll need to restart after this. Apparently, everything's kind of lagging on my end. Yeah, with uh, Discord, it gets a little bit more laggy than usual. Let's keep two scry lines help us set up the top. I think we go pathway here. Gives us the most flexibility. We're probably going to be eliminating this turn. We have Heartless after. See if we have a wipe on top. Despite multiple frantic inventories. I'm just gonna take that out now. Before you get any of those counters. Yeah, I was just talking about that. Not even getting the activations off the robber there is sad. 
You kept too many cards in hand. If you multi five, then you're better. Apparently, that's what it is. So I'm gonna shark. Human, human. I think we just trade with Robber here so he can't cast. It's pretty free. We take an extra point here, but it gives us two blockers next turn. So we can Questing Beast next turn. I think we just let it go through. Offer the trade here, Frantic Inventory after. He's got to play out something to get the trigger. So before he goes to attack, seems like he's digging for another red source. He's going to get the trigger anyways. So we'll draw two. Hard to not hit all these lands, you know. See, you just got to draw more cards yeah. like I do. I should at least start taking the land so I could actually play some. Okay, so we're going to use this worm. I think we go shields down for a turn. Let's get a swamp. So we are shields down. You can go questing beasts. I don't know how we're supposed to win this game if we don't draw them. But I can exile this board. Bunch of double red in hand. Just gonna start putting pressure. I'm gonna play this tapped. I'm not really looking to play 7 mana. I want to hold up this ex Eta Extinction from now on. I want to deal with Questing Beast. Four mana is my maximum anyways. Like It's just kind of tacky to play more than four. So we do this. Start off here. So he can get Questing Beast, he hits us for four. But we just need to try to put a clock on him. We did it, right on time. Get there. So it's a little annoying. I think we do this. And then just Questing Beast doesn't kill us here. In response, literal all four of them. We can do this to get Gargaroth. Hmm. 
should be good. Good game. GG's. Unfortunate. I was actually going to play Ashiok and bounce it, so the line worked out better this way. Yeah, like as long as he doesn't have another sweeper, we're probably dead. But when you miss that many lands in a row, it's hard to win many games with magic. So it's okay. Well, I was holding that Eat Extinction for like four turns. I'm like, this is for Questing Beast. This is for Questing Beast. You want to give it a reset, your client? All right, I'll reset the client real quick and uh, get some water. And I'll be right back. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna be a minute. I'm just gonna grab my, uh, put in a quick dinner order. One sec. Sounds good. All right, folks, we are up 2-1 in this matchup versus Titan Smash. Uh, the ultimatums are getting there. His last up is a tempo deck. Um, so I'm glad we have both. The Is It Yadaro list was a list I put together today. It's kind of a tempo um, cycling sub-theme. If you cycle Yadaro four times, you get to cast it for free. Um, and then just a bunch of like removal. You got the adventure creatures. Storm's Wrath deals with a lot of the smaller creatures or like four power. So pretty much most of Gruul. A couple Barons is alternate wing cons. And then like the frantic inventory tech again. Uh, Midnight Clock on the side in the control mirrors to like shuffle your entire library. And then just a mix of uh, counter spells here. Let me see if he's ready. You good, Titans? Yeah, I'm good. You got to go. I have to like throw my phone at my wife to like order dinner tonight. I have like a, a voucher for Uber Eats, so I have to go make sure the order went in. We don't even have Uber Eats around here. It's not a thing. It's we're, we're too small. Um, probably keep this. This is a draw. I think we go... For what it's worth, to... I think we have like zero matchup against you with this deck, so we'll see how it goes. If you have counter spells, you're already 90% of the way there. Interested to see this one. So we're more concerned with black in this deck, so we'll play this out like this. I'm curious to see what he plays out, if it's like flash speed stuff, so... This isn't really something he wants to Brazen Borrower. So if he wants to counter any of our stuff, he can do it on his turn. Take advantage of this now. I'm gonna put a stop on my upkeep. We're looking for lines. That works. Um, probably, you know what, I should have done this. So, you just want to give me extra draws? I'm just trying to annoy you, really. This game is an irritating game, by the way. I'm just going to point that out. I 
I think because we have this cultivate, we're not doing it. We're just going to cultivate this turn. Get a blue source and a green source. Green into play from cultivate, play the blue. My chat has agreed that I just need to play monocolored decks from here on out, <laughs> so we're actually going to scrap this one and just, just do monocolored from here on out because it ain't. It's a little frustrating. So much royal. So we actually drew our one of island in the deck, so we do need now another blue source. This Merc Field kind of coming back to haunt us. We might have to do the value nightmare just to see what he has in hand. We saw a lot of that last week when I was playing against Matt. We were just nightmaring each other. I think here we're going to scry just to try to find the blue source. We have plenty of card draw. Okay, we got Typhoon. So we'll play this out. We get to duress him next turn. Three mana duress. Value city. I'm pretty good with these exchanges. Play out the tome. Like, he's not advancing his board. We're just getting ahead on mana and everything. I think we're doing... Bit of the same this go-around. Yikes. I'm just drawing so many cards, but not lands. You have more lands than I do, so I don't really want to hear that one. <laughs> Don't want to particularly go to discard, so let him spend his mana there. We need to discard. Let's get rid of Shadow's Verdict here. I can assure you, though, you're in a good spot. Well, now you can't complain about mana. The game you pay for, it, though. It's like, nah, son, you don't get this for free. Get a, another black source here. I think we just hold this up. We'll do this on our on his turn. Actually, we'll probably just maze mine stone. If you want to bounce my solemn, I'm cool with it. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. Let me just mine this <laughs> real quick. So I'm not too worried right now. I don't now. want you doing this either. I feel like if I want to ever have a chance of actually ulting Ugin at all, which I probably have a small one anyways, this is, this is how I do it. The Solemn just puts pressure on it. I still can't hit lands. Okay, fine. You just, you just hit a land. Took like six draws. So I think we just want lions at this point. Um, probably good with getting this down. We can try to eat another Ugin. Um, so I can Murderous Rider. I can Ashiok to bounce the Ugin. That's fine. 36 cards to 40. This will draw us two.
might not even get any Yadaro action. My client's like glitching up. That's how I beat you, is by this glitch. So it doesn't get to work for me. You ready for this? You ready for this hand? <sighs> Had to make sure I could sneak this in. <laughs> so he's got a lot of bounce um, so we probably want the disputes the negates duress are probably fine here we don't want to eliminate we don't want the shadows verdict he is on Ugin I do want some answers to um, to have to, against Ugin cure best of sea gods decent because he gets around his bounce but like on the play, he's gonna have Ugin. This Masker Worm also doesn't do huge amounts. So how are we beating him is the question. Um, I think we do want this. So what's coming out? The Wilts, we didn't see any targets. The game's gonna go long, so we can probably get rid of the Cultivate. Ashiok we want, two cards to cut. Maybe trim one duress. He's a big man of deck, so dispute might not be as useful. Actually, let's play the dispute. We'll go down to extinction events. I'm sure there's creatures in there. There's like brazen borers. We need to get rid of the 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 giants as well. Well, we got spells. So I probably want to wait a couple turns to do this. Can inventory on his turn. Might want to negate like a ramp spell here. Two for one. Shark Typhoon and Nagati. I think we just get rid of the threat here. No real pressure, so I'd rather keep this as block mana. I'm sure you shocked him for no reason, right? Oh, I wanted to play it tapped. You can have this one. So we'll do this. So since we got double inventory here, play this out. Try to catch the dispute. Because if he negates the first one, it's fine. We just hit him with the second one. Also, not too concerned with that. I appreciate you letting me draw cards at least. I know, but I wanted to draw more. Draw so we'll probably duress here, see what's going on. Uh, let's stop duressing us, maybe. Go castle. He's got the second Gadwick. I'm not in love with, so let's do this. Let's just get ahead on mana. If he didn't have the second one, then I'd be fine. I just don't want to deal with... And you can go Gadwick again. You gonna Gadwick Revelation? Hands... 
It's a weird spot because your spell's not even proactive to tap down Solemn. So play the scry land next turn. Probably gonna cycle this trinom. This looks like for two. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I do this, we have black, 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 black. Yeah. So I want him to use his negate here. And then I'll Murderous Rider it. He's shown quite a few counters this game. Probably should have attacked first. We don't have a clean answer to this giant. Sorry, just telling my wife. Okay, cultivate's good here. We like seeing that. I think we just go rider this turn. Ooh, negate's nice. So if I do this. I can't play around the speed anyways, so we'll do it. You got a counter? At the very least, it got rid of two removals, two counter spells. He has a second Ugin in the deck. It's a bit troublesome. Yeah. He does have to minus five so Solemn can kill it. All this just feels so bad against you, not gonna lie. Just real bad. Solemn just the real MVP here. For real. So we're gonna, we have the frantic inventory to draw three. I guess we could have done it on his turn, but he's pretty low right now. You got the counter for it? Yeah, that's the, you, you got a counter for this though. Shoop, thanks for the Thank you for the raid. Now, he, did y'all Embercleave? Well, my top deck's a little bit better. Here he is. Wow. So let's get Heartless Act. Um. This is odd. Like, I only want to get one removal spell. And then just play it like this. How was the stream, Shoop?
We are playing Streamer Showdown. Nice. Are you on the Millpline or um, like the Crab or the Zareth Sand version? Yeah, that's the one I prefer. Are you playing uh, into like the three mana cost reducing card draw one? Into Mind or whatever it's called? I think that's we. Yeah, I gotta give that one a shot. We're just playing some brews today, so. I read Eugene one time. One time. Let's go top decks. Don't have it, just never had it. Okay, we got a game still. Plus on Solemn to get rid of it. Yeah, I think it's a good shot. Like, um, I kind of regret. That's a really good line. I hate that. I'm, I hate that I'm just losing Ugans to a Solemn still an Akram though. It feels real good. Um, I think we just want more action. Upkeep. It's cool. I didn't want to set an upkeep stop anyways. I don't think you need it at this point. I wouldn't worry too much. Okay, another Ugin one. That's all I need. I mean, if you hit it, you deserve it. Not quite. Okay. Let's set our stops properly. Unlimited life. Solemn beats. <laughs> this feels real good, by the way. Such value. <laughs> I don't know if I even have lines left in my deck. I have one I have one island, one swamp left. So here we're going to shark for seven. Don't think it matters too much here. You were just the worst, you know that. Six is bigger than seven. I mean, there's no way I can like play around that those sad thing. And you know what the worst part of this? Is? My two draws were negate and negate. So like I felt pretty good there, but not for shark attack. I had negate in hand, so I was just gonna like I was considering doing against the bounce, but had negate, negate, and excuse. I'm like, okay, if this gets to resolve and I untap, there may be a shot here. I had Ugin, Jeez, Blood Chief, and like a bunch of stuff, but yeah, no. Appreciate the games. I didn't get to play my like Yadara list. Oh yeah, I know. That's unfortunate. I just couldn't beat this. This was too good. Breaking the meta. I know. It was real good. GG's, my friend. Alright. Everyone, check out Titan Smash. YouTube.com slash TG. You want to see uh, second best uh, YouTube streamer? Head over there. Appreciate the games. And uh, I guess we'll be moving on for the next round. Thanks for the games, man. Have a good one. I'll be for you now. Alrighty, folks. We're going to wrap this one up. Let's see who's on, and we'll give a raid. My sushi just came, which is perfect timing. Appreciate everyone stopping by as always. Uh, 
We can give a raid. So Kyle's uh, he's drops into the chat from time to time. Um, he's a, he's coming up in terms of streaming. So go say hi, give him a follow. Appreciate everyone as always stopping by. Um, we'll be back later this week. Uh, wish everyone a happy holidays. Uh, we'll be back Boxing Day and onward, and we'll be playing a bunch of new decks. Appreciate everyone stopping by. Have a great one. Stay safe and enjoy the holidays.